could pi equals 4 for square make any sense? That's our question. Here is a square. Um, pi for circle was its circumference divided by its diameter. Circumference is another word, perimeter. So I guess pi for a square would be its perimeter divided by its diameter. So if I was to do pi for a square, if this means anything at all, I'm just playing, I would get perimeter 4x divided by its diameter. Diameter is a little bit strange here. What do I mean by diameter? I could have a, a short diameter like this. That would be one possible diameter for a square. But the trouble is I could also have a much longer diameter like that. So I'm going to make a guess. Just for now, I'm going to see if I can go with the simplest one, because I think working with a short diameter has much easier mathematics to it. In fact, how long is that short diameter? It's actually x inches, the side of the square. So pi for square would be 4x over x, if I were to go with the short diameter, which looks like 4. All right, all right, that's suspicious. That seems too nice to be true. If I were to be really nice, if I want the ultimate niceness, I would love my basic formulas to be true. Circumference is 2 pi r, and the area is pi r squared. That's how pi works for circles. Wouldn't it be amazing if pi equals 4 and those formulas are working for a square? Let's just try it. So, here goes. I'll start with 2 pi r. Well, 2 I know is 2. Pi, I guess I'm saying for a square, is 4. And what do I mean by the radius? Well, I guess the radius is half the diameter. So the radius would be this length. I guess what? Half of x? 2 times 4x times x over 2. OK, times is very awkward in algebra class. Let me just write dots. 2 times 4 times x over 2. If I do the mathematics, uh, the 2's cancel, and that's 4x. And lo and behold, that is indeed the perimeter. That is the circumference. The first formula is working for pi equals 4. Magical. The second formula. Pi r squared. OK, this would be too good to be true if it works out. Let's try it. Pi, I hope, is 4. r squared will be half of x squared. Oh, look at this. 4 times x squared over 4 is x squared. And what is x squared in that picture? That is indeed the area of the square. This formula is working as well. So actually, people say pi is all about circles, but you could say pi is also about squares. It turns out pi for a square is 4, and your formula c equals 2 pi r, and area equals pi r squared are actually working and valid and correct. It's absolutely beautiful. Which, of course, then makes me wonder what's pi for other shapes. What's pi for an equilateral triangle? What's pi for a pentagon? And do you know what? You can actually work out those values too. A lot of fun, lots of things to play with. I actually wrote a little book called Weird Ways to Work with Pi. So you want to think about this and compare some answers, feel free to have a look at that work. All right, this is great stuff. Thanks for joining me today.